In today's video, we're going to be talking about fire awareness and fire safety, so stay tuned and we'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jennifer. I'm Daniel. And today we are going to be talking about fire awareness and fire safety. If you're new to the channel, this is your first time viewing, thank you for being here. We're so excited that you've joined us. If you like this video, make sure at the end that you give a big thumbs up. So today we're talking about the forest fires that have been happening all around Arizona. It's been really dry and really hot this season. Um, I think we got our first slight monsoon last night all across the valley, yeah. which was nice. Yeah. Um, hopefully the amount of rain that we got helped. Um, but there have been over a thousand wildfires, mm -hmm. I believe just within this season um, around Arizona. Yeah. Most of those in Payson and Cornville and Sedona Globe and Sedona. And even I believe there was one in Flagstaff or close to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's unfortunately these fires have burned uh, close to a million acres so far. Um, the forest, the, the forest state parks have restrictions. They're at a stage three closure right now, which yep. means there's no camping, there's no shooting, there's no ATVing, there's Nothing. no just going out and like driving around and hanging out. So the forest roads are closed. Forest, you can't, can't even go on forest roads. No, <laughs> they're all closed to um, everybody that is not uh, personnel that is approved um, to be there. Like, of course, the forest service and the fire people and all of that stuff. So. <laughs> We want to talk about this just because it's something that we feel is very important for our viewers and all of you out there that go camping to know. Um, I think three of the fires that happened this year, maybe a little more, were human caused, which means probably somebody flicked a cigarette out the window or didn't put out their campfire properly. Mm -hmm. Of course, the rest were caused by uh, nature. Lightning, Lightning strikes. strikes, thunder, things like that. So. We can't prevent those, of course, but human cause we can prevent. So that is the reason for our video today yep. is just to inform you guys, give you facts about um, safe campfires and about fire safety. So when you're having an actual campfire at a campground, um, those are always so fun. You can sit around and really talk and enjoy each other. But when you're done at the end of the night, you need to make sure you put that campfire out completely. Yeah. And yeah. by completely, Daniel, what do I mean? So completely out, dead out, meaning you pour water on it, not just dirt. You have to completely drown the fire out. You might see those signs that say dead out and drown out your fires. So, so far this year, unfortunately, in just in statewide in Arizona, we have had about a thousand wildfires and it has burned nearly a million acres. I think because it's been so dry and we haven't had any monsoons um, so far this year, really. So unfortunately, this has been mm -hmm. one of the most devastating years that we've had. Um, they said that this is the sixth largest uh, statewide wildfire problem we've had in nearly a decade. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy how dry it's been in general in Arizona. Just haven't had a good rain. We don't get the monsoon we needed and we don't when we don't get the monsoon we need then the chance for wildfires goes way up because Arizona depends on the monsoon to bring us the rain and it decreases the chance of wildfires um, gives that moisture to the ground and everything that we need so um, we just feel we wanted to give this information out there for you guys because like we said it's just something that it doesn't necessarily have to be in Arizona we saw in California's their wildfire season got pretty bad but we all need to help and do our due diligence and make sure that we're paying attention to the the signs um, what type of fires danger it is, mm -hmm. things like that. And I did see something that the Forest Service talked about not opening up state parks and forest roads and things like that until September 1st, until we get enough rain. 
So let's all cross our fingers and hope that we get tons of rain before then. Yeah. Otherwise, our forest roads and camp campsites and things like that won't be open through the whole entire summer, pretty much. If you have any questions or comments, we love feedback from you guys. Um, leave those down in the comments and we will respond to you as soon as we can. We'd love to hear from you. Yep. Um, we hope that you have a good rest of your weekend and we're going to go enjoy the rest of ours and we'll see you next time. Peace. Bye guys.